It is now 7 o'clock. We will begin the board meeting of Mayor and Alderman for January 9th, 2014. We do have a quorum. I would like to mention that Alderman Broker is not with us tonight. He did have a kilt replacement, and we would like to remember him in our prayers, he and his family, and I think we, we might need to remember his wife, too. So uh, we do ask that you remember that family. Tonight, I do have the prayer, and Vice Mayor, you have the Pledge of Allegiance. So if you'll please stand. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and the many blessings that you've bestowed on this city. Be with each and every one of us, dear Lord, as we make decisions to help move this city forward. Be with those that are sick. Be with Alderman Broker as, as he and his family has gone through some surgery. Be with the ones that are not feeling well and having the pneumonia, the stomach virus. Be with each and every one of them and bless them, dear Lord. Be with all the emergency personnel. Be with our men and women that are out there fighting for our freedoms every day. Just be with us and help us, dear Lord, to make the right decisions for this city. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America. And to, to the, the republic, republic for, for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> We will now begin with our department reports. And no. our first report start. Oh, I'm sorry. Minute meetings. Um, I hope everyone had an opportunity to read over the minutes for December the 5th and the December 17th meeting. Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Now we'll move to our department reports. We will have our first report from our very own fire department, and I believe he's getting ready to have to go on a fire call. <laughs> That's a frequent flyer, sorry. Okay. <laughs> from our new fire chief, Ricky McCormick. Thank you. <laughs> we'll just go off the air there for just a second then. For the month of December 2013, we had a total of 153 calls. It consisted of three structure fires, 22 fire alarms, one vehicle fire, four hazardous materials calls, 29 motor vehicle accidents, 77 medical calls, 10 emergency miscellaneous, and seven non-emergency miscellaneous. The average response time for the month of December was 2.9 minutes, and the total water consumption was 5,250 gallons. Any questions? Any questions? While I have Ricky up here, I know y'all have noticed the, the big orange helmet sitting here. And I promised the firefighters that it would be sitting on the desk for the very first meeting. And the reason this helmet is so very, very special, these firefighters all went in together and personally purchased this fire helmet for me. Not only did they purchase it out of their own pockets at Christmas time, they all showed up at my house on the very first day, which is January 1, sirens blaring and everything with me in my robe, pajamas. We do have pictures. <laughs> <laughs> they have pictures and presented this to me. And it's, it's, they couldn't have given me a crown of gold that meant any more to me than this helmet. And uh, I kept my promise that it would be on the table and uh, with the big T to, to throw at Jerry and AC. <laughs> we state. had some not too happy about it, too. Just. <laughs> but it, it is very special, and I can't thank the men and you enough for, for this. And uh, we're going to have a good year. We are. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Police Department. Our other chief. <laughs> Mayor, Vice Mayor Alderman. You have the uh, reports uh, for the month of December and also the year to date. I spoke to the year to date numbers uh, at the workshop, and I'll be glad to answer any question about those if you like. I will say that uh, some of the some of the bad things have continued to decrease. It appears we'll have to wait till we get all of our reporting in from TBI to uh, match up and make sure that we're comparing apples to apples before we get into that, which will be 
uh, two or three more months before we get that final report, but looks pretty good thus far. Our Christmas for kids and seniors, I talked about the other night as well, we collected over $11,431 uh, that were expended for this program. The community as a whole stepped up and we are very appreciative of that. And we were able to provide uh, Christmas toys and clothing uh, to 205 children and 91 families with a food basket or a food box from Feed the Children and additional food items that were donated by many groups here in the city and outside the city as well, uh, along with turkey, milk, eggs, and bread. But that, uh, it was a very successful program this year. Um, I have one thing that JJ whispered to me uh, just a while ago. One of our members is en route emergency traffic to Murfreesboro. It's little Mike. He's choking and we don't know what's wrong and what's going on, but he's en route to the, uh, to the bed hospital over there and we'll try to let you know when we hear something. We don't know why, because he hadn't been into anything. He's been right with Lewis, so we're not sure what's happening. But hopefully we'll find out. So uh, I don't think it's out of the way to ask for the good Lord to take care of little Mike because uh, he's been awesome since he's been yes, here. Yes, and he's been working and hard. And he's, he's a member, and he, uh, he's very personable, as mm -hmm. you and Miss Sherry know very well. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. And uh, just a quick, I met with... Uh, some gentlemen today, Chief, that all they had sang your, your praises for you and your department and uh, spoke very, very highly of all the work that you've done here in this city. And, and uh, that's a real good feeling to hear. And they wanted to tell you hello and, and uh, thank you for the good job you and your department's doing. Okay. Rescue. Mayor Alderman, Happy New Year. <coughs> Um, I'm going to give the yearly report. Uh, we have five medical calls, uh, 234 uh, vehicle accidents, three water-related issues, one fire-related issue, eight traffic, uh, one search, 732 others. Uh, that includes standbys, things of that nature. Business meetings were 38, training 12, public relations were 97, uh, fundraising, maintenance, uh, Again, that was uh, 79 for a total of 100, no, 1,230 standbys. Total miles was 39,850 miles driven, and total hours was 22,229 miles, no, hours, I'm sorry. And we do have a ham breakfast this Saturday. I uh, hope to see everybody come out. Any questions? Questions? Thank you. All right, thank you. <clears throat> Coast Department. I've got the uh, mayor, alderman, vice mayor. I've got the December report here as well. I'd like to focus, if we could, on the uh, year end. The, 2000, the December is quite self-explanatory. For the year end 2013, there were 60 residential permits issued, 27 commercial. Uh, miscellaneous permits were 123, signs 56, grading 6, garages and sheds there were 4, additions, remodels there were 45, 18 mobile homes uh, for a total of 339. Um, plumbing permits were 72, residential 10, commercial. The mechanical permits there were 67, single family dwelling permits 10, commercial. And the tall grass complaints called in 860. Junk cars in the yards were 131. Other miscellaneous was 302. For a total of 610 building inspections on the year. Fire inspections were 196. Um, there was an $18,190,000 commitment to this community last year in valuation of buildings. For a grand total of 498 total permits all year long. We were up from last year quite a bit, from 2012, so it's picked back up. I think it's gonna get even better this I think year. so too. Any questions? Thank, Thank you. you. Parks and Recreation. 
Mayor, Vice Mayor, Alderman. Um, see our numbers for the month up there. Um, we got a lot of stuff going on. We're always busy at Parks and Rec. Uh, we have some upcoming events. We have a Martin Luther King ceremony celebration uh, coming up. And it will be from 10 to 11 on the 20th. We have a father-daughter dance coming up in February on the 8th. Uh, there will be more information coming on that, but that will that'll run from 2 to 4. Um, doing a little work on the baseball fields, trying to get those knocked out. And for any seniors that are watching, we will be open on Monday. So everybody come back. It will be business as usual. And uh, that's all I have. Anybody have any questions? Thank you. Finance. Good afternoon, Mayor and Alderman. Tonight's report represents uh, five months into our fiscal year, ending in November. <coughs> For the general fund, expenses have exceeded revenues by approximately $2.1 million. That should be turned around with the property tax collections in the next couple of months. Local sales tax, we've collected $1.8 million. That's 203 better than what we budgeted and $122,000 better than prior year. For State Street A, the expenses have exceeded revenues by approximately $497,000. For the stormwater, revenues have exceeded expenses by approximately $149,000. And in the water sewer fund, revenues have exceeded expenses by approximately $741,000. The next page represents our balances in our various bank accounts. And the third page represents a comparison to prior year. For the general fund, revenues are up $285,000. Expenses are down about $12,000. In the water sewer fund, the revenues are up about $64,000, and expenses are up about two hundred eighty-three. And uh, tap fees are up about $6,000. Uh, I do want to mention that we are um, aggressively pursuing our AMR replacement uh, meter program, and we are approximately about uh, 2,200 meters into um, changeover. We have about 12,000 meters in the city, so we're working on that. Any questions? And I believe Miss Evie said we were about a little over 50% of uh, the three, I think it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Water treatment. Oh, I forgot you, Miss Donna. I'm sorry. <laughs> Library. <laughs> you can give Thomas as he said as well. <laughs> Thomas can come up and do my report. <laughs> Uh, good evening, Mayor, Vice Mayor Alderman. For the month of December, we checked out 6,240 items. The attendance in the library was 6,266 with a daily average of 298. Our library programs, we had 42 programs in December, and that's with only 21 days that the library was open. So we feel like that's quite a few programs going on with an attendance of 605. We had a total uh, computer users of 2,003. Some of the events that are going on in January that we would like for our citizens to know about. Definitely all of our children's story times are back up and going. We did close down for two weeks in December, but we are back up and going with our little treasures, our once upon a story time, uh, homeschool and jammies and stories, and those times and dates are listed on our website. The YA, our young adults, they have several events going on with the teen <coughs> book club. We would love to get that up and going. Uh, that's going to be on January the 16th on a Thursday night. And the teens will also be doing some winter crafts. A couple exciting adult programs that's going to be happening. We are going to start an adult reading program, a winter reading program that will run from January the 25th through March the 8th. You don't have to go to Russia to enjoy the Olympics. Just join us at the Laverne Public Library for an adult and teen reading Olympics. The torch will arrive on Saturday, January 25th at 1 p.m. We will have a flyer with more details. We invite you to come out and join us for this program and take some of the challenges so that you can win either a bronze, silver, or gold medal. Something really exciting, if we have any Downton Abbey friends, here that are really big watchers of the Downton Abbey series. We're having a tea party that's going to be on February the 1st. This is uh, pre-registered. It's filling up fast. We invite you to come out and bring your own teacup and to dress in the 1900s period dress. 
So we would love to have you on February the 1st. Just call the circulation desk in order to get your name on that list. Any questions? Sounds good, guys. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Donna. Water treatment. It's always hard to follow Donna and all her cheery <laughs> all of the fun good news. Stuff, I know. Gosh. <laughs> what we have is our uh, report for November of this year. We'll go over that and we're gonna get up to some current events. Uh, <clears throat> for the month, uh, we produced 73 million gallons of water, which is down 7 million from the, the previous year. And that's due to various reasons. I mean, the, the lines are tightened up, less usage, less waste, hopefully. Our membrane unit, uh, reclaimed uh, about 5.6 million, which cheated Metro out of uh, $10,500 on <laughs> the sewer fees. We like that. <laughs> <laughs> our flush, <clears throat> our flush, and we hit 37 sites, and we're just getting various complaints when the weather changes. The water kind of gets a little bit of odor to it, needs to get freshened up. But we used a little over a million gallons for that. Our maintenance for the month of November was uh, $5,010, which leaves the balance of $20,124 for the remaining three months. Uh, we had six pressure and, com and odor control, taste and odor complaints. Uh, just various reasons, uh, just people needing a little bit of help regulating their pressure coming in. Uh, chemical usage was fine. Uh, November was a good month. Three of our operators <coughs> passed their their state certification. We now have Greg Mano, which is now an operator three class. Uh, Jimmy Horn cross trained. He has his operator four license. Now he went over in distribution and, and got his level one. And Jeff Johnson also has a water treatment two and just received his distribution two. Um, construction started back this past Monday. They're working with the the uh, change orders, the doors. They're placed a lot of the frames on the way. Uh, the paint crews are back patching the walls that needed the extra coating. So they're, they're moving on. A uh, little bit of weather concern. They didn't want to get too much in the earlier week with all so much cold. But they're, uh, they're projecting in the next month. Wonder. So hopefully they can keep Wonder. on that schedule, maybe a little bit earlier. Uh, as probably a lot of people notice with our water shortage today, construction is a little bit of a bad cause, but not cause, but uh, it's, it's not helping to remedy any. It kind of keeps us confined to just running half the plant. But uh, let's talk with Mike Dietz, and they did find the leak at one of the old pump stations, got that corrected, but we're just hoping overnight there'll be a lot less usage and give the tanks a little time to regain because they're at, at the point where they need to really, really build up some. So that's the, the better news of it. Um, other than that, that's about all I have. Any questions? Thank you, Thomas. <coughs> Public Works. Good afternoon, Mayor Nodman. This is for the month of December. We had a total of 453 uh, chipper pickups with a total of 31 loads. Uh, we had uh, 85 work orders for the month. Uh, some of the projects we were done, we did some of the patching for the water and sewer department. And also, we're making and replacing new street signs, stop signs, and all throughout the city. In the fleet maintenance, we had uh, 67 vehicle repairs with uh, 10 major and uh, 13 minor. We had 15 oil changes at uh, Vavilene 5 in house. Uh, just had a busy month. We had a busy night the other night. So, any questions? Any questions? And our utilities, are you giving that one? Or are well, they, I, don't I know have they're anything. out on the waterfall. I, he's it's not, in he here in the packet. Okay. Yeah. If there's any questions, he, <coughs> he's still out on this. Uh, well, we found the water break this afternoon at the tail pump station. Okay. And there were some other things that come up right after. So I let Bruce know he wasn't going to be able to make it. And they, that's the last two nights, they've been out in the cold working on these water breaks. So. You know, they had one here on Murfreesboro Road in front of Tower World. They yes. was out to like 10, 30, 11 the other night on. So they, they've been working hard. And I think they've had probably about 100 calls on what's come in as frozen meters 
and a lot of it wasn't frozen. You know, I think he had maybe five or six out of it, but they run every call. Okay. So they were out late yesterday afternoon running them. Maybe they've been, right. they've been working. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Human resources. Good evening, Mayor, Vice Mayor, and Alderman. This is the report for human resources for December. We had three external jobs posted, 65 applicants, total job interest cards, 60, employee resignations, zero for December, year to date, 22, employee terminations, zero for December, year to date, 10, workers' compensation claims in the month of December, five, year to date, 20, liability claims, two, for December, year-to-date 15, 76 care here appointments for December, and year-to-date, good figure, 990. Care here enrollments, 240 for December. Dependent lives covered, 291. Employee lives covered, 166. Dependent claims, 599. Employee claims, 512. Total claim dollars, $170,027. Are there any questions? Any questions? Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. We'll move right along to our presentations. With us tonight, we have uh, Read to Succeed. Michelle? I'm sorry. That's me. Your last name? Willard. Willard. She's going to be talking about us to us about the book. Yes. Um, hi. I'm Michelle Willard. I'm here on behalf of Read to Succeed, which has been promoting literacy in Rutherford County for more than 10 years. Um, I know you've heard about some of our projects, including the uh, one book community read of Rutherford County. Um, it's in its seventh year now, and um, each year we join with Lineball Library, the Laverne Library, and various media outlets to uh, promote um, adults in Rutherford County to all read the same book. Over the years, we've promoted nonfiction, literary fiction, popular young adult choices, and this year we've asked readers to read um, a mystery called The Last Policeman by Ben H. Winters. The book is about um, an asteroid that is on a cataclysmic <coughs> collision course with Earth. Within six months of impact, most industry is shut down as people abandon their jobs to preserve pursue their bucket lists. To young detective Hank Pallas, one of the suicides seems suspicious, and despite his colleagues' lack of enthusiasm and despite difficulties with accomplishing anything as the country's infrastructure fails and the apparent futility of investigating a murder when the world is about to end, he keeps working his case. Um, to many on the committee, including myself, the book is really about um, hope and perseverance in the face of, of a disaster. And um, with that in mind, we've partnered with the Heart of Tennessee Red Cross to bring attention to their disaster relief services. And we've also um, planned some events with MTSU's astronomy department so we can talk about asteroids. <laughs> but, um, and I've brought a copy of the book for the mayor for you to read into we'll read. to pass on to anybody else who would like to read it. All right. We'll there ain't many so. pictures. I hope you can do it. Thank well, you. I you, hope you, you need the it. pictures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chris will stay, sit still long enough. <laughs> Maggie will learn to read and read, do you? <laughs> I have to. Thank you very, very much for that. <clears throat> All right. Do right. the employees of the month. <clears throat> Tonight, a group was chosen by the fellow employees and department heads, and I guess we can kind of say they're kind of the unsung heroes, because they're out working, and they don't have all the red lights and all the attention, because it's, it's something they just get out and do when it's bad weather. They're always out in the middle of the night, just like police and fire. If the police and fire need them, they're always right there to help in whatever way they can. 
Tonight, we're going to be honoring an entire department, and that is our street department. Because without these guys, a lot of us couldn't get to where we're going. And I would like for them to come up, and I think some of your guys were not here, but I'm going to call them out. Chris Abernathy, I don't think Chris could be with us tonight. And Thomas Daniels, and Thomas has promised that he will give us a speech when he comes up here. <laughs> Y'all have to come up. Come up. <laughs> Can you stand up here? We'll get them all up here with you. <laughs> this is the City of Laverne Certificate of Appreciation. It is hereby granted to Thomas Daniels. For your dedication and hard work for the City of Laverne, the City hereby recognizes you as Employee of the Month for January 2014 and thanks you for your excellent work you do for the City of Laverne. Thank you very much. Now, <laughs> okay, another, Jeffrey Gill. Y'all can take these guys there. Wendell Lahew. Doug Oakley. Come on up, Doug. <laughs> and Doug was in on aggravating Thomas about giving a speech, too. He's still got City of Laverne Certificate of Appreciation is hereby granted to Doug Oakley for your dedication and hard work for the City of Laverne. The city hereby recognizes you as the Employee of the Month for January 2014 and thanks you for the excellent work you do for the city of Laverne. Thank you, Dylan. That's right. Mr. Garland, come on down. <laughs> You're a great leader to these guys. <laughs> the City of Laverne Certificate of Appreciation is hereby granted to Garland Russell for your dedication and hard work for the City of Laverne. The City hereby recognizes you as Employee of the Month for January 2014 and thanks you for the excellent work you do for the City of Laverne. Thank you. We have one more that couldn't be with us, and that's Alan Swain. And guys, I, I know this is being televised live. When we got up the other morning, you could go to work very easily here in Laverne because our streets were all taken care of. We didn't have to worry. And I know Bruce and I also have radios, and you can hear them talking to each other all through the night, making sure they were watching these streets and keeping these streets open so our, not only the emergency personnel could get out and get to where they needed to be, but our citizens could too. And you don't see them a lot, uh, you know, out, and, and, but when you do, they're out picking up limbs. You don't, they're always out doing something, cleaning up this city. And, and I don't think they're, they're recognized enough. Like I said, they're our unsung heroes. And uh, I don't think we recognize them enough. And I, we thank y'all very, very much for everything you do. And you can present these to your other men. All right. Now we'll get down to the hard stuff, guys. Oh, business. Second reading, Ordinance 2013-22, an ordinance to amend Title VII of the Laverne Municipal Code regarding the Laverne Fire Department. Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Second. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Second reading, Ordinance 2013-23, an ordinance to amend the Laverne Zoning Ordinance as it relates to the Planned Density Residential PDR Zoning District received a favorable recommendation from the Planning Commission on November the 26, 
2013. Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion <coughs> carries. Number six, motion to remove the Senior Citizens Program from the Parks and Recreation Department and create a new and separate Senior Citizens Department. I think we need to defer this myself. What, you want to defer it or just or deny, deny it? Deny and, it and then go, up when go we, from there. <coughs> yeah, yeah, I'll make a motion we deny, deny this now. I'll second. I, and I'll second that. All those in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye. Consent agenda items. We discussed these in great length at the workshop on Tuesday night. Do I have a motion to approve or to deny? Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion to approve. And I have a second. We'll do a roll call. Alderman Green. Aye. Vice Mayor. Aye. Alderman Walker. And I vote aye. Motion carries. Under new business. Motion to appoint and remove board members. The beer board, we have one uh, term that it expired in December. That was the term of Michael Jolly. And Michael does wish to remain on that board. So I'd like to make a motion that Michael Jolly remain on the beer board. Second. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Next, we have the Greenway Advisory Committee. We had one term uh, to expire in December. Mr. Robert Lee, we did speak with Mr. Lee, and he does wish to remain on that board. I'd like to nominate Mr. Robert Lee. Second. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Next, we have three positions on the library board. We have two applications. Um, one position, Ms. Felicia Smith. Uh, she does wish to remain on that board. I'd like to nominate Ms. Uh, Felicia Smith. Also, Vaughn Barr, her position is open, and she does w wish to remain on that board. And I'd like to nominate her as well to remain on these boards. Second. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, next, we have our local emergency planning committee. And we have um, Ricky McCormick, his term, we'd like to nominate Ricky McCormick, Burl Davis, Bruce Richardson, and A.C. Davis to remain on these boards. And they all uh, graciously accepted by us telling them they were going to take it. So <laughs> <laughs> they graciously. <laughs> I don't like how I worded that. A motion to approve. <laughs> I, have a motion to, I have a motion to approve. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Next is our Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee. Mr. Bruce Ockbauer is uh, term was up in December. He did wish to remain and was the only other applicant. So I nominate Mr. Bruce Ockbauer to remain on this Parks and Recreation. Second. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. No. Okay, let's do a roll call. Alderman Green? Aye. Vice Mayor? No. Alderman Waldron? Aye. And um, I'll vote aye because it was the only application. So, motion carries. <coughs> uh, next is our Senior Citizens Advisory Committee. We have two vacancies. Um, one uh, is a vacant, and then the next is Doug Schaefer, and Doug does wish to remain on the Senior Advisory Committee, so therefore I will nominate Doug Schaefer to remain on the Senior Advisory. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Next, we have the Stormwater Appeals and Advisory Board. We have one term that is up, that's Mr. Earl Garvin, Jr., and then we have three vacancies. But I do have two, Mr. Garvin does wish to remain on the Stormwater Advisory, and then we have a Mr. Henry Freeman, 
who would like to be added to that board. So I will nominate these two to be added to the stormwater advisory. Second. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Number nine, first reading, ordinance 2014-01, an ordinance to amend the Laverne zoning ordinance as it relates to cell tower regulations, received a favorable recommendation from the Planning Commission on November the 26th, 2013. Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. We'll do a roll call on this one, Alderman Waldron. Vice Mayor? Aye. Alderman Green? Aye. And I vote aye. Motion carries. Number 10, Resolution 2014-01, a resolution of the City of Laverne Board of Mayor and Alderman to declare certain property owned by the city to be surplus to the city's needs and directing disposal of the same. Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Number 11, resolution 2014-02, a resolution requesting action from the state of Tennessee on regulating the sale of ephedrine or pseudephedrine related products. Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Second. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, guys, we're down to. Yes. Absolutely, please. Lieutenant Kyle went over uh, to Murphy's Pura and he texted JJ, just, or called JJ a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Apparently, they were at home. Mike had gotten choked on food he was eating and for whatever reason when he got choked he aspirated some um, Lewis was able to clear the airway and uh, Lewis's wife gave Mike a few compressions and he started breathing breathing again and his heart started beating again he's at the hospital and apparently is okay now so it's kind of like a doggy Heimlich maneuver, I guess, maybe. But anyway, he's okay. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Good news. Good news. And how old is Mike? Now, he's still he's kind three. of a pup. No, he's, well, he's, he's three. three in September. Okay. I was thinking he was two. Uh, yeah, but I was thinking he was two. No, he's three. Okay. Okay. Well, good news. Good news. Oh, that, that's still a young and in. Alderman Waldron, we'll start with you tonight. First time I had a new year. Remember the rescue squad, Ham Rappers, and uh, about 30 seconds. Oh, you get feeling well as well. Better as well. Vice Mayor? Got nothing. Alderman Green? I just hope everybody stays warm. And I think it is getting a little better. Yeah. Heat wave. So, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we do want to remind everyone of the Martin Luther King Remembrance <coughs> Ceremony, which will be here at City Hall January 20th at 10 a.m. The city, uh, that is our day off, but the building will be open and we will be having our ceremony here at 10 o'clock. We do have committee vacancies, so we're really encouraging citizens who have a lot of questions, who want to get involved with the city. It's a very good way to get on some of these boards and get to, to learn a lot about the inner workings of the city. So please look into some of the committees that you might be interested in and, and sign up. Um, also, we've had a lot of water uh, main breaks. We've had people with, even in their homes to have pipes to burst. And therefore, we know a lot of water usage would have gone through at that time. Please save your receipts and let the water department know bring your receipts in and they will work on with you uh, on your usage if you had any type of break so save your receipts and bring them in to the water billing and they will work with you on that and ricky and diana was 
Lesser Hearts was one of them that <laughs> uh, we'd like to formally welcome the fire department home to the city of Laverne. So this was actually our first meeting and we want to welcome all those guys. They're getting all their paperwork done. They've been in and out and I think everything's going pretty smoothly there and HR's worked hard, Bruce and Ricky and I think we're about to get them moved over and, and get all the paperwork done. We'd also like to announce Ms. Tanya Williams, who is our assistant city uh, treasurer. She did pass and is officially a CMFO for the city. So we now have three CMFO and that is a, a really hard class. And we have three now that have passed that in the city. So we're very, very proud. Uh, we'd also like, Glad to see Evan. What, did Evan have to sneak out? No, nope, there he is. He looks a little bit He's tired. He's a little tired. <laughs> but we'd like to welcome Edward and Andrew to our family. Thank you, Thank you very much, Mayor. We all can't wait to get our hands on and get them spoiled like we got Maggie May spoiled. And I can't wait. <laughs> I really appreciate all the prayers and everything the city's done for me and my family. We're deeply grateful for it, so well, thank you. We just can't wait to meet them and spoil them. Thank you. How's Mama? Worn out? Tired. <laughs> happy. And feeling blessed, yeah, thank you. Wonderful. Yeah. Also, I'd like to announce that our city retreat will be January the 23rd and 24th. It will be held here at the City Hall. Um, everyone is welcome. Uh, if your department's coming, you're welcome to come in and support your director. Um, it is open to the public as well. And uh, but we'll, we'll get with you on times and dates. We'll let the public know. We'll run it on our Facebook. We'll run it on our city site. And we'll be getting with the directors and letting you know what time. We thought these were good dates. It's a Thursday and a Friday. And uh, that will give you a weekend that y'all don't have to come in on a Saturday as well. So we thought y'all might like that a little bit better than, than doing a Friday and a Saturday. And then we'll, we will end up on that Friday night where we'll all have, um, as a group, and the employees have a dinner or something for you. Probably be at the Civic. I think everybody enjoyed that at the Civic last time. So, but we will do that. But mark the dates, 23rd, 24th, and we'll get back with you on the exact times that we'll be running those and we will publicize those. With all that being said, I hope everybody has a safe journey home and we thank you for being with us tonight. As always, we appreciate everything y'all do for our city and you're very much appreciated. I call this meeting adjourned. I should be in Florida.